9,999. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. I better not lose this next match, guys. Hello, fellow brawlers. I'm Kairos Time, and it is time to brawl. Today, we're going to be pushing up to 10,000 trophies. Look, and I'm doing it hands-free. I'm so good at this. I'm so good at this. I'm about to get sniped right here. You ready for this? Oh, man, it's going to be so unfortunate. She's going to come in right here. She's going to come, come right there. Hit me once, and then I'm going to hide over right here. I'm going to come right back up. She's going to hit me again. Oh, 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 come on, Kairos. Don't do it. Oh, I died. Okay. Yeah, so I'm commentating on this afterward, but basically, last night, I just had that final push, guys. I tried streaming yesterday, this was two days ago, T tried streaming to get to 10k, didn't happen live stream, unfortunately. Um, and so, that night I was like, I gotta push, I gotta push. So I pushed a little bit with Shadow Jutsu and Portal, uh, playing some Piper, and I push um, with a couple other friends, you'll see those later uh, in today's video. Ace YT, I think he's got a YouTube channel. Make sure you guys go check him out. Um, and then no deflect as well. So uh, played some Piper here. We're gonna show a couple matches here. Then we're gonna jump over to playing El Primo and Gem Grab. I only have five more brawlers to get up to 500, guys. Those are and Piper and El Primo are two of them. And so we're gonna be playing them, trying to get up all of my brawlers up to 500. This is this is how this is gonna work out. So let's go ahead and talk about what's going on right here. First of all. We got this massive lead. It's we're we're pretty we're pretty much rocking things, and the fact that we have that that penny turret right there um, already solidifying basically this victory right there. They don't have a penny. It's they do have Anita and a Spike who struggle a little bit to take out a penny's turret. Uh, just get as long as we can keep them pushed back, at least with Brock and Piper. So we're rocking things here. I want to try and take this guy out. Oh oh, such sweet snipes. Such sweet nut snipes. You'll see a few of those sweet snipes here today. Um, except that I did just miss that. Uh, and you'll also probably see some auto aim pipers because let's be honest guys I am not the best piper in the world, but I am pretty freaking awesome <laughs> Okay, let's be honest. There's a reason why she was one of my last but to get to 500 and there's my awesome super jump right there where I got taken out ah, So unfortunate but that's that's how it goes. That's how it goes. We still have a pretty massive lead. I go a little bit too close right there. He it does shoot uh, his super up right there. Um, it does not sl slow me down. I'm able to snipe out that Nita right there with the with the countdown and a 16 point lead. I don't think that there's anything they can do. I'm just gonna hide in this bush. Oh no, I'm not. I'm gonna go for those some of those sweet snipes. I thought I hid in the bush like a coward. <laughs> But no, here we go. Solid victory right there. Let's go ahead and go on to the next bounty match. We'll just show one more Piper matchup. Okay, here we go. We got this another. We got another pot bounty match right here with Piper. Uh, then we'll be jumping into some gem grab with El Primo, who is actually pretty fantastic on that gem grab map. So um, if you're looking to try and push your El Primo, definitely pay attention. Piper in bounty is kind of like a no-brainer. Like yeah, of course you play Piper in bounty. She's pretty awesome. Um, so here we are. Uh, we're pushing just a little bit here, trying to uh, just solidify a little bit of a situation. They do have that enemy star, or that first, that middle star, and so we have to be careful. Uh, that looks like another Michael here. I don't know if it's the same Michael. I doubt that it is two in a row, uh, but we are able to take him out. He comes a little bit too closely. We're facing against two Brocks, so we do have to be pretty careful. Uh, with Piper and Brock, we should be pretty good, but the thing with Brock is that uh, he, takes, uh, he takes three shots, two shots? Three shots to take out a Piper, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so we got to be a little bit careful. Then we do also have this Mortis, who's a, who can be a real pain if he gets all up close on you. Um, out of Portal and me, or Penny and uh, and Piper, the best counter to uh, Mortis that we have is going to be Brock, uh, because uh, Mortis just does such a really good job at like you know if he can dodge those shots from a, a Piper or something like that, then he does really solid work. Um, but then if he gets too close to a Brock. Brock can just quickly spam that auto aim. Oh, unfortunately, Shadow does get taken out right there. Um, he can just spam that auto aim and take him out once he does get too close. But Penny and Piper, we do so little damage up close that it does uh, get a little bit tricky right there. Seeing that super coming down, use that super to actually jump out of the way. It worked out. It worked out pretty nicely. I'm pretty proud of that. Still maintaining my four stars. Rocking things right now, just trying to get some kills. Oh, there's Mortis. Gotta watch out for Mortis right here. He's gonna try and come in a little bit closer um, on Portal. And I'm just trying to help, like, keep him pushed back. Tried to snipe him out, but he was able to escape. That's the other thing with Mortis. You gotta know when you gotta go in, and you gotta know when you gotta get out. That's, uh, 
Of course, that's probably good advice for any brawler, but you guys get the point. Porter is able to take out uh, that Brock right there, and I'm wanting to show Shadow that we have a Mortis right in there, which is why I was trying to fire at him so intensely, because the last thing I wanted was for Shadow to get up into those bushes while Mortis, well, without knowing that Mortis was right there. Um, always, always definitely something to keep track of if you're not on voice or anything like that with your teammates, is fire toward a, an enemy direction if they're in the bush so that your teammates know where they're at, and that is a huge way to really kind of up your game it is also a really fantastic way for you to kind of communicate with randoms as well and there we go we got a 15 point lead on them and that was a very solid victory i think we're gonna go ahead and jump on to el primo on this map deep hollows this is an excellent map to push el primo on i hear a lot of people actually talk about how el primo does not or needs a buff or something like that like how he's not a very strong brawler but El Primo has one of the highest DPSs in the game. He has the highest health in the game. He has a great super that allows him to just jump around and deal a ton of damage to people. I mean, he really does wreck people. It's just, it's just a matter of playing the right kind of map um, to his strengths. And in this map, where you have frequently you're playing against throwers who deal low DPS, Typically a lot of Barleys, you do play some Dynamites and things like that, but typically bar Barleys. Um, but where you're facing against those low DPS Brawlers, Barley does not do a lot of damage per second, at least not when, uh, unless without his super. His super is insane, it's a nightmare for El Primo. Uh, but with his regular attack, does a little fairly relatively slow DPS, and you can just like jump on people. Here I am coming over there trying to deal some damage. Um, Crow comes over here, and that's just not a great position for him, so I'm going to go ahead and come over to the left right here, and look at this. Look at this. Taking out Barley, rocking things. I've got my super up. If I need to, I can jump out of there. I'm just going to wait until uh, Crows tries to attack me. And there we go. I actually should right here go over to the right, but rather than uh, do that, I actually kind of push forward right there. I am able to take Crow out, but not before he's able to take me out and our countdown actually restarts. We have Ace YT right there. He's doing a fantastic job of uh, taking them out, grabbing some more gems. No deflect right here. Uh, oh, another thing with this map, if you are going to be playing El Primo, then Pam or Poco are going to be the best gem carriers for you. Here I am, we've already got a solid victory. It doesn't matter if I die, and so I just go ahead and try to push him back as much as I possibly can. Play that aggro position, uh, which does a really good job, of, you know, helping you to solidify that victory and keep people pushed back, because you never know if they're gonna get like a lucky barley super or something like that. Okay guys, another matchup right here now. We see a Mortis, and there's, it, for this map, you typically will almost always see a thrower, and that thrower plays a really good role right here. And because you see people playing throwers, that's what actually makes El Primo such a good option. Um, and it's also what makes Mortis such a good option for this map. And that's why I'm actually really excited because El Primo does a good job at countering Mortis. He also does a good job at countering those um, those throwers. And I mentioned that earlier, the throwers just don't have high DPS. They can't take El Primo out fast enough before he's able to run away and heal. Um, so he can just kind of like go up, um, deal some damage, um, and then charge up his super, and then he can just bounce back and forth from people. But he does such a great job at countering Mortis because Mortis has such a low DPS. Um, and he has to get really close to that El Primo to deal any damage. So here, I'm a really hard counter to two of the brawlers in this match, which means that I've, I've got a really solid, we, we got a really solid situation. And that being said, though, a Mortis can be a very swingy brawler, meaning that you never know if he's going to be able to go in there, take a bunch of gems, kill you, take all your gems, and run away, man. Uh, so you gotta, you definitely have to be careful with Mortis. But here you can see, even with the super, I'm able to take him out, not... Uh, not surviving because that enemy Barley was there, but I at least wasted that Barley's super. Um, so he doesn't have that super, uh, only did a little bit of damage to me, wasn't able to completely recharge up his super. Um, but I, So basically I was able to hold back two, two brawlers, which is a good thing. Uh, now, when you are playing El Primo, in these types of maps and things like that, you have to be very careful. Uh, because You have to pay close attention to two things. Oh yeah, oh yeah, grab those gems. Oh yeah, grab them, charge up my super and jump away! Oh yeah, I love it. Oh no, oh no, deflect. No deflect, wake up. Stop the AFK, man. Stop being AFK, oh. Oh no, oh no, and I'm gonna die right here. That is so unfortunate right there. He, no deflect, it's AFK, he's clearly like lagging or something. I don't know what's going on. Maybe his dad's yelling at him, I don't know what's going on. But <laughs> Mortis is able to grab it. I can't catch up to him, guys. So I have to be really careful, careful right here, okay? We have 15 seconds, and I see a lot of people just like rush when the 15 second countdown happens. You don't want to rush, you want to move together as a team, okay? And that's what we're doing. I wait for just a second for that super to go in right there. Um, able to go in there, grab those gems. Oh, oh, and super away. 
Oh, that is just... Oh, that's so beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, and they were spinning crazy at us earlier, so of course I'm going to spin just a little bit right here. You ready for this? Just spinning. Just going to take out Mortis right here and just be like, oh, yeah. Yep, you thought you had it. There's the spin. There's the spin. I knew I spun. Not to BM, just, just you know, if, if they're going to BM at me, I think it's okay for me to BM a little bit back at them. Okay, so here we're facing Corey. This is an intense match right here because Corey is definitely known as one of the best players in the game. Um, absolutely skilled player, and he's playing uh, Barley. Now, he was smart to go on the opposite side of the lane, and it's interesting. I saw this Donkey Kong right here playing Nita, and I thought, I was like, oh, he's, he's not maxed out. You can tell if somebody's maxed out by looking to see the star underneath them, um, and Nita does not have her star power, which means she's not maxed out. So I'm like, is he playing with randoms or something like that? I don't know. So I'm totally, like, underestimating these guys at this point. I'm like, whatever. Don't do that. Don't underestimate somebody just because they do not have their star power. But here I am. I'm pushing them back. And this is really fantastic because I was able to push two brawlers all the way back right there as El Primo. I didn't kill anybody or anything like that. I did have to fall back, but Nita did have to use her super. And I'm able to fall back, but I just kept them pushed back for so long that we were able to grab um, some gems and kind of have control of the center for a little bit, which is really fantastic. Now here, I'm in a good situation. None of their brawlers are dead, so they're not going to respawn. And I'm able to just go in right there, use my super, take out Corey, uh, and it, I do get taken out by that Nita, um, and now we do, it's a 2v2, uh, which I was hoping for a little bit better situation, but they did a really excellent job at not falling apart, uh, despite Corey ta being taken out and it being a 3v2 for just a second right there. Here we go. I'm about to die. Got a little bit aggressive right there. Uh, Corey is a, ex, did an excellent job at knowing that I went too aggressive and kind of using that against me. So here I am going to spin in front of this because, you know, I think I can do that. It's... <laughs> Um, and now I've got to be a little careful. I'm going to just take out this bear and just like, I'm not even going to worry about if I like recharge a super a little bit because I just do so much damage. That I'm going to take it out really quickly. D going to take out Diddy Kong right there or Donkey Kong. And also because we, I was able to push that bush or push them back and do a little bit of damage to their Poco. Then our teammates was able to take him out and grab some gems. Really solid situation right here. Uh, now I mentioned earlier uh, one of the things with El Primo that is he's so good is on this map is because if you just get in there and deal a little bit of damage, charge up your super, once you have your super once, then you have an excellent advantage, and that's a solid victory right there, guys. Oh, man, 700 Corey. Oh, he's OP. But one of the things right there is, with El Primo is that you just need to get in there, deal a little bit of damage, and once you do have your super charged up, if you use that correctly then you don't even have to like necessarily aim. And that's the thing with El Primo is that you absolutely, with El Primo, you will be a better player if you are not using auto aim, okay? If, if you're practicing and you master that, like the top El Primo player will not uh, auto aim because you actually lose out on damage and things like that if you're really at the top of your game. But El Primo, you can play him with just auto aiming and that's one of the things with his super is you can just use his super and slam it. Will you do better if you're not super, or if you are manually aiming? it if you're if you got practice absolutely All right there just take out that turret not even worrying about it um but aiming is going to be a big benefit to you now you'll notice in this gameplay i'm not a pro el primo i'm not the best uh, but i am able to play him because he does have that lower skill cap type of situation and that's uh that's one of the reasons why i like el primo so here we go i've got my super up and i'm just trying to recharge that you see me slamming down right there didn't quite recharge it i know i need to fall back off of this jesse because it's best for me to try and survive um and here we go. Just gonna. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's, let, do I spam the auto aim right here? No, I don't. I don't. There we go. There's the auto aim. Oh yeah. Just slamming down on there and doing a ton of damage. So we have the countdown right here, and we are just very solid, guys. This is a, a solid victory, even though I got taken out. We're doing just fine. Um, and no deflect has all 10 gems, so it's not a concern at all. At this point, I am one trophy, one trophy away from that 10,000 mark right there, and Ace has to go. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, and he didn't have to go. He was just messing with me. Anyway, let's go ahead and go into this last match right here. I did want to mention one last thing with El Primo. I started talking about this earlier in the match and got distracted because we were facing against Corey. With El Primo, you need to be really careful about a couple of different things, okay? You don't want to just always go in and just like jump on people and just be all up in their face and things like that. You have to be kind of ta or careful with when you're going in, when you're not going in, because every time you go in there, Every other brawler is going to be able to use their auto aim. They're going to be able to deal damage to you. They will be charging up their super. So right there, I had that uh, that Terra, who has a very devastating super. And because I went in on her, 
uh, she was able to completely charge up her super. Now, because I charge up her super, it is my job to go in there and force her to use that super on me. I do not want her using that super on uh, no deflect right there, which is exactly what happened, uh, which is unfortunate. I want it. I want it to her to like waste the super on me if I possibly can. Right there was a great situation where she had to use the super on me to try to survive, and I was still able to take her out. It's my responsibility to be pay attention to when they have their supers charged up and then also force them to use it on me instead of on more valuable brawlers that's kind of part of being an aggro brawler uh, like el primo here we go i took out their gem carrier i took out jesse and i took out <laughs> took out mortis as well Oh, that was so fantastic. Love how that worked out. And that's the that's the greatness of El Primo. He's so strong, has so much HP, so much damage. Um, yes, he's short range. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm doing the spin right here. It's not it's not meant to be a BM. And if you guys are watching right now, I'm sorry. I hope I did not offend you. I, I just am so excited, guys. I'm so excited to get to 10,000. Like I said, it did not happen on live on stream like I was hoping that it would, but it happened right here. And I'm so stoked about that, guys. Oh, yeah, 10,000 going up in the world, going up in the world. Anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about it in the section below. I absolutely love doing these types of gameplay videos, and if you guys enjoy them, I'll keep on doing them. Anyways, before I end it, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of my YouTube sponsors and my Patreon sponsors as well. If you want to become either of those, there is a link in the description below. For now, this is Kairos. I'm ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.